Ladies, good evening. It's been another great week of dates, but that just makes this rose ceremony that much tougher. Leslie M, Lindsay, Ashley, three of you have roses, nothing to worry about tonight. As for the rest of you, if you do not receive a rose, you'll be going home immediately. I wish you all the best. If you're ready, here's Sean. Each passing day, I'm just reminded that I am surrounded by beautiful, intelligent, accomplished women, and I know I am so fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, and I'm more confident now than I've ever been that I might actually find the person that I'm meant to spend the rest of my life with. Actually, before I do this, Casey, can I talk to you? All of a sudden, Sean pulls Casey out of the room immediately. I'm confused why he took a rose with him. He could like send her home, or he could just get, personally give her a rose. We are all wondering what the hell is happening. We hit it off immediately in New York mm -hmm. for a reason. And I thought, can I move you from viewing you as a friend into something more serious? And like, I admire you so much for leaving your life behind. And I have way too much respect for you to make you stand through another rose ceremony. You know, if I, if I just know in my heart that yeah, I think we're better off as friends. Good luck. Thank you so much. don't want to come all this way to go home alone. I have a great life. And hopefully I'll find somebody who can join me in that. It's just not John right now. As y'all know, I was friends with Casey before this whole adventure started. The night she got out of the limo, I was really surprised to see her. But I thought I owed it to myself and I owed it to her to see if there was something there romantically. And um, over the past couple of weeks, I just came to realize that there wasn't. And so Casey has gone home. You know, that was certainly tough for me, but I feel like that was the right thing to do. Last time I left here with no regrets. And this time, you know, the regrets that I have. And that's something I'm gonna have to live with. 